Good morning. Yeah, I've been gone for a while. Um, medically, I just had some major issues come up. Um, as you know, I have arachnoiditis. And it... Is it just me, or did it get dark, and then light, and then dark? It was just weird. Um, but, yeah, so my arachnoiditis decided to be a bitch. And... I ended up with uh, cerebral spinal fluid, too much of it, uh, high pressure of it, and it's been causing just non-stop head ache, like it's just, and my problem is, is once I get a headache, it turns into a migraine, and I can't really sit and focus, I can't sit and think, I can't sit and really do much of anything. So, I haven't been able to sit down and edit anything, and I've got a buttload pre-haircut videos that I need to get done, but I just went to uh, my neurologist, and we're going to start going once a month with him. Uh, he was like, just come in, and we're going to tweak, and we're going to play with some of the meds. Because I have a pain management doctor, but he just deals with the pain, and this doctor, he wants to experiment, he wants to go through, there is a uh, preeminent doctor that deals with arachnoiditis. We're going to go through his protocols, we're going to play with them, I've changed my diet as you guys know. Um, and we're going to try a few things to, to get better. So I will be able to get things done, I will be able to start walking better, I will start to be able to walk more. Um, I got my Fitbit, I've been kind of paying attention to that. On the days that I go out shopping and I do stuff, I, I do about 2,000 steps a day. And that's, that's my issue, is it hurts to stand. I... Without pain meds, I can stand for maybe four or five minutes. With my pain meds, ten. Um, but we're trying to, like I said, work with um, anti-inflammatories, nerve meds. Because a lot of nerve meds do funky things to my head. So I don't like a lot of them because a lot of them, like Lyrica and a few others, are more mental meds. Like, I'm on this new one, to Toper, Topermate. I'm going to be starting it tomorrow. It's mm, it's used for people with bipolarism and a couple other things, but it's also used for people with migraines. We're using it to see if it helps with the CSF fluid. There's Lily! So, here we go. It went dark again. I don't know. So, yeah, I just wanted you guys to know, no, I did not die. Yes, I fell off the face of the earth for a while, because I just... And this is going to happen quite a bit when it, when it comes to doing vlogging and stuff. There will be breaks, just because, again, arachnoiditis... And I have adhesive arachnoiditis. It's, it's hard to deal with. You're constantly in pain. Like, I'm taking... I accidentally took too much. I'm supposed to be taking... It's like Stampa, it's... Go if I can read this. I'm getting used to bifocals. Nine milligrams. Twice a day. I can't take them at night because my brain just goes crazy and I can't go to sleep. I have ADHD. So if I say meds making my brain go crazy, it's like, and I don't like it, but... It helps with the pain. I accidentally took an extra one of these this morning because I woke up real early. My head was hurting. I took my usual cocktail. Forgot I had taken it. Woke up again just a few hours later and took it again. Fell back into bed. Fell asleep again. It was like 4 a.m. in the morning that I woke up at 8. And then I just took one again when I woke up. And then I realized, wait a minute. Crap. It's one extra. But, as you can see, I'm doing a whole bunch of work in the house. I'm not feeling, I mean, my, my pain level's at four. So when I go to my pain doctor management appointment on December 20th, I'm going to see if he can up this 
And see, if we do that, and I start doing more things, and get more active, get my muscles built back up, build up my endurance, because literally, we spent, what, a year and a half stuck here, not going out, not going shopping. If maybe then, once I do, we can then bring it back down. Uh, because I don't want to get too high on these, because I am going to reach a point in my life that I'm not going to want to be out of pain meds. Because you adapt to them, and you adjust to them, and I, I want to be able to tone back. So, when I do need them, they'll work, and I'll be able to go back up again. So, my idea is to go up a little bit, but then come back down. Because, like I said, a year of not doing anything really put a crutch on me. But the arachnoiditis is... It, it's not fun, because it's in my lumbar. Um, it's adhesive. Uh, I have SI joint dysfunction now. Uh, my SI joint is your... It's the big, you know, you have your pelvis like this, and you get a big triangular shape, the bone there. It's kinked off center, and it hurts. Um, I get SI joint injections into it, but they can only do that like every three to four months. And it works for about a month, and then my back goes back to normal, and I'm trying to slowly, in that interim, kink it back to where it belongs, and it's just jammed in there really hard. So that's what I've been dealing with this past month, is I just, I've been in too much pain, uh, the stress caused by the fridge dying, and then the next day, the sewage lines clogged for the entire condo plex. So we had noxious sewer gas coming up through our toilets, it was disgusting. And then when they popped all the caps that they go down into, do you know, it literally went up like a foot of raw sewage, and then it went into our retention basins, and that smell stuck around for days, and it, my head triggered, and it was just, it was horrific. And then my daughter came back, so I've been dealing with that. Um, it, it's just, like I said, it's just this non-stop head pain that won't go away. It's just like, even right now, it's sitting right across here, and it wraps, and it just sits there, and it's just this, it's like my whole brain. It, it focuses here, but it's the whole thing, and I have, this is for anybody who has arachnoiditis, and you get these little low-grade headaches, or um, whatever causes you pain. I use the ice packs, I use it on my low back at the SI joint area, and then I'll wrap it in a scarf and put it so it's back here on the back of my neck. And that cools the blood going into my brain. Because if I remember right, the, the two veins here, the main arteries, you've got the jugular here. You know, those are the, that's the blood coming out of your brain. So the blood here is coming up into your brain. So by putting an ice pack on that, it's making it cool so it goes up and helps relieve that pain. So I was like, literally for a month, I have been sitting with a scarf around my head, wrapped. Um, and then if it evolves into a migraine, I'll take that ice pack here and then I'll move it here. Um, it's great with this haircut. <laughs> It's like, yay, I love the haircut. I really do. Uh, this guy named Adele. At one of the cheapest places you can, you can go to, to get your hair done. Uh, Adele. Uh, it's in Tempe Marketplace, Arizona Hairco. Oh my god. I love it. But, yeah. Um, I haven't disappeared. I will continue to do vlogs. I will go back and try to edit together. Because I did record while we were around, like, when I had to go shopping. Um, because I had to, you know, because my son, um, got a new job, he's training for it, so I'm, I'm home alone during the day, so I go out and I do shopping. There's been, there were a few trips that I went out with him, um, so like I said, I'll try to edit those together, forgive the hair, the hair was horrific. I like my new glasses. As my daughter says, it makes me look younger. I'm freaking 52. 
Do I look? Ah, yeah, I look old. Oh, I don't know, I look old as. To any of you young kids, I look old as freaking dirt. Um, then I've been playing um, Age of Empires. I'm so happy over that. Oh my god. It's like, oh my god. My favorite game as a historian. I love for a video game to be that good. I it just, I'm like, oh my god. I did record um, some of it um, playing William the Conqueror. It's a cousin. <laughs> and it's just like, it's great. It's a game I highly recommend if you want to teach your kids anything about history. It's a, it's not even a turn-based game. It, it's literally, I mean, there's no way to explain it. I'll try to get it up as soon as possible. Um, but I love them. Um, I've still been playing um, the Power Wash Simulator. I'm going to try to edit a couple of them together, a couple of the different ones I did, um, just to show you what I've been doing. Um, but yeah, so... I'm kind of back. Like I said, when it comes to vlogs and stuff, in some videos there will be breaks because of my health. I just, you know, when your brain and your body revolts against you, you really can't fight with it and you just gotta do what you gotta do to just basically keep going. Um, so, sorry. And again, sorry about the disaster behind me. Like I said, I just pulled the wash out of my washing screen. I pulled clothes and stuff out of there. I'm going through it and I'm like chucking clothes like crazy. I got way too many pants. I mean, I got so many friggin' pants. They are black pants. Um, they are elastic because of the damage to my spine. I have three vertebrae that don't have a dorsal fin. You know that little thingy on the back, your vertebrae, that thing that makes a bump over your back? Um, three of those are gone on my back. So if I put on anything tight, it actually cuts into my spinal area. And because it's so inflamed, it causes problems with my legs. So I can't really wear tight pants at all. I have to wear either stuff with elastic, which I hate. Oh my god, do I hate it. Um, I'm, a, I'm a jeans person. I love my jeans. I can't wear my jeans, you know, or if I do, I have to wear freaking loose jeans. <laughs> um, so I tend to wear PJ bottoms, you know, the, the tieable ones or the ones that have like a loose elastic around it. Um, I tend to pick up PJ shorts. I don't wear those. Or athletic shorts because I got the elastic in it and they don't cut into my spine. Because uh, that's where I like to rest my pants, is literally right right above my hips. Like, literally, like hip huggers. And that's exactly where the hole is. Uh, so I've been just going through them and just... Yeah, unfortunately, too, when I've been going through them... No, notice there's a garbage bag over there. Plus Aragorn sitting in there. Uh, I've been finding my son's clothes. That's um, just a pair of PJ bottoms right there. Uh, in our roommates. Uh, I don't know how, but his stuff ended up in my laundry. Uh, and as for shirts, I need new shirts. Uh, this is a shirt that it's like got ruffles in the front. I'm just, it's not my thing anymore. Uh, I've been looking at a couple of um, online sites. I like the, what is it, the handkerchief tops, but I like them long, like tunic style. I like the, I like it to come down, um, so like dresses, you know, like the mid-thigh dress type things. I wouldn't mind some of those. So I'm going to go hit Goodwill in the next couple of days after I pay rent. $1,400 for a three bedroom, freaking, I think this is 1,000 square feet. No yard, it's a patio. No storage space. There's no storage space. I don't even have a linen closet. And I'm laying on so I'm going to raise the rent. And I'm just like... So, like I said, I'm, I'm preemptively trying to go through stuff and, and just start chucking things. And then I'm going to start going through DVDs. I'm going to start going through uh, my records. Uh, my daughter wants to go through them first. They're all Duran Duran records. And I'm like... 
Though I do think I have a Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart Club band in there. I'm going to put most of that, most of my Duran Duran memorabilia. I haven't looked at it in 15 years. Uh, I'm like, get rid of it. So if you like Duran Duran, leave a comment. Um, I will be putting them up on eBay uh, and just letting people, and I'll put links when I do on the eBay, you know, when I do start doing that stuff. All my books, a lot of books are going to be going because I don't want to cart them across the country. Um, yeah, so it, it's, this is, yeah, so basically just telling you kind of what I've been doing uh, as I can do it, but yeah, so. I'm kind of back. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna throw this up. Just realize that because of the arachnoiditis, I'm gonna be very slow sometimes getting vlogs up. Um, if it's just no editing needing like this, I'm just probably gonna tag on my little intro <laughs> of the stream and the lightning bolt of insanity. Uh, and then put this up as is. I don't have an outro yet. I haven't thought of one. So if you have any ideas, any thoughts, anything that you think might work as an outro for old fart me. Just goes to the light again. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Let me know. I, I have no idea what to do for an outro. Other than, hey, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe. And hey, leave comments. Um, let me know what you want to see. Like, I know you guys want to see me playing games. I'm going to try to, this week, figure out how to do picture and picture so I can be sitting here. Like, do like a cutout of me and play video games so you can see me while I'm playing the video games. I also thought about doing, uh, I haven't watched it yet, and this is why I'm, th I'm wanting to try to figure out how to do the picture in picture, or do this, and then put the picture down here, in this little area. Uh, Morbius. Oh, oh, I, I've got to sit down and watch the trailer, but I want to do it for the video. I love Morbius, so, but yeah. Again, thanks for watching. Kind of back. Sorry. Again. You don't want to know what this pain is like. I would not wish this on my worst enemy. I, I wouldn't. This is this is horrific. Um, I tell everyone, and I'll tell you, do not ever let any doctor near your back with a needle or a scalpel. Take care of your back. Build up that portion of your back, because it can happen. Arachnoiditis can happen in any part of your body, uh, or any part of your spine. Take care of your spine. This is horrific nerve pain. Again, I wouldn't wish it on, the, on my worst enemy. Um, it's horrific. There are times I'm curled up over here crying from the pain. And I do a lot to hide that fact from my, my son and from my daughter. Uh, just how much pain this is. And my son has seen me in a lot of pain. So, yeah. This has turned out really long. I'm sorry. I really am. Oh my god. So, yeah. Comment, like, subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye! Oh no. Now he's chewing on the phone. Help. Help. I can't move.